Yeah, this was supposed to be a side hustle or a lifestyle um, business. We were supposed to have a few condos in Lake of the Ozarks that we could just go and visit and rent out when we weren't there. Um, and it very quickly, after one HOA meeting, turned into um, much more than that. And it just scaled beyond belief. To start, we actually owned our own. Um, now I know much more strategies behind um, launching. Now we we are actually launching a unit right now. We don't have any money invested. We're going to help that owner manage the property. Um, and we're actually charging onboarding fees for them. So we're charging him to come in up and set up his unit. All right, guys, welcome back to the VIP Financial Education YouTube channel, where we teach you how to go further, faster financially. And we talk a lot about short-term rentals here on this channel. Uh, late last night, I had entrepreneur brain, which basically means you can't sleep even though you want to. And I was thumbing through Facebook and I come across this post in our private members group for the BNB Bootcamp, which is a coaching program that we're involved with that has recently helped us get to 35 doors under management since May. And it says in March of 2021, we bought our first condo to turn into a short-term rental. I quickly found out I had no idea what I was doing. I turned to podcasts and YouTube for a crash course after a couple of weeks with no little to no progress, started researching coach, coaching classes. Michael and Katrina resonated with me with our similar experiences in the e-commerce world. After their course, we quickly ramped up to six units. We have bounced into some other masterminds and ended Q3 of this year with over 35 units operating. Today, we closed on our first hotel, a 30-unit mixed-use hotel in Lake Geneva. 19 months ago, I started on this journey alone. Today, I have countless friends, business partners, and mentors, but it all started with two people that helped me build my foundation. And much like you, Z, I um, you know, resonated with your post. You know, I saw a lot of similarities. Uh, I mentioned on uh, the video that Michael and Katrina and I did talking about a lot of the resources available for people that are wanting to get into the short-term rental arbitrage or partnership space um, that by the end of next year will, you know, my, my anticipated distribution personally will be over a million. My, each of my bi two business partners will be the same. So we're realizing a tremendous amount of success inside their model. And I brought you on as fast as I could after seeing this post uh, because it it's so incredible to see so many other people having this level of success with their program. And I just kind of wanted to get a firsthand impression. Now, let's just go, go ahead and kind of start things out. How did you originally stumble into their their BNB coaching program? Yeah, so I think it, it, it might have been one of your YouTube videos. Um, it was definitely, they definitely popped up multiple places. Um, and I'd seen them uh, multiple times. When I was just first starting out, again, we, we bought a condo, um, my brother-in-law, and he one condo turned into two. And I very quickly was of the opinion that we needed to know what we were doing and be educated on it. So like I said, tried to get educated, couldn't, um, did find Michael and Katrina and jumped into their mastermind to get, get my feet wet. And what, tell me a little bit about the, um, the, the overall game plan initially? I mean, is this something you, you intended on doing full time or was this really going to be more of a side hustle for you to sort of supplement revenues? Yeah, this was supposed to be a side hustle or a lifestyle um, business. We were supposed to have a few condos in Lake of the Ozarks that we could just go and visit and rent out when we weren't there. Um, and it very quickly after one HOA meeting turned into um, much more than that. And it just scaled beyond belief what this is was never intended to be a full-time business, but turned into a full-time business or a full-time gig very fast. Okay. And can you give us a basic understanding of what your sort of initial output looked like dollars and cents wise? What, what sort of upfront costs were necessary? What type of liquidity did you need? Um, so from my brother-in-law, it would have been around a 15 to 30 probably 20 to $30,000 to actually purchase the properties. Um, at the time, then coaching would have cost um, around six to $8,000, maybe $10,000. Not really quite sure. I've jumped into quite a few other programs as well um, to just really become educated and as professional as I can in the space. Uh, so somewhere in there, I've invested quite a bit of money in coaching. But to start, we actually owned our own. Um, now I know much more strategies behind um, launching. Now we, we are actually launching a unit right now. We don't have any money invested. We're going to help that owner manage the property. Um, and we're actually charging 
onboarding fees for them. So we're charging him to come in up and set up his unit. I think it does help people to understand that this can be um, designed in countless ways um, and it can cost very little to nothing to get going. Uh, if you want to get involved with coaching, I think that you've got to plan and prepare for that expense. I think that's the best investment you can make. That's my personal belief because I, I, I think getting as many shortcuts as possible is worth the money. What has been your experience with their mastermind overall? Did you find that investment to be worthwhile? Uh, yeah, they probably would have paid off that investment within uh, the first two months. Uh, had I not had their coaching, I wouldn't have been as educated and uh, the, what really boosted us is our first condo. They actually looked at banning short-term rentals within two months of us owning it and operating it. And through their coaching, I was educated enough, knew this is the correct way. This is how we are vetting our guests. This is how we make sure the property is secure. And I just stood up and said that at an HOA meeting. And that's where two of our management contracts came out of. Um, had I not been educated like that and had not been quote unquote, at that point, a professional operator, we never, I would have never been approached and I probably would have never considered managing other people's properties. That's one of my favorite short-term rental stories so far. I, I, I didn't even know that you could sort of sway the restrictions based on just being <laughs> present and chiming in. So well done on that. I, I think the restriction aspect is always one of the biggest concerns our viewers have shared is getting involved and in what if this and what happens if that. I, I also like to remind people that when you're not the owner of the property, most of the risk ends up falling on the person who is. And if you're building your, your partnership agreements out correctly, you can mitigate that risk if in you know, fact there are unexpected restrictions that you're not able to rent the property anymore, you can certainly bow out of it as well. So that's that's something we, we uh, include in our contracts. Um, so that's very cool. And so how long have you been involved with their coaching now? Um, we would have launched in April of 21. Um, and then I've bounced into a few other masterminds, but stayed involved in the Facebook group, helped out where I could. Um, yeah. Last two. What do you anticipate? What do you anticipate uh, your your personal revenues looking like as far as uh, you know taxable revenues over the next twelve months? Do you have projections on that? Uh, myself individually, um, over the next twelve months, will probably be seventy to eighty thousand um, taxable. However, I have a COO, a CFO. And six virtual assistants now, um, as well as a build-out specialist that are all on our all, all on payroll. And then uh, we will we'll just continue adding to the team. So we're planning on taking this much larger than we are now. What do you see things looking like in five years for you? Whew. In five years, that's a great question. In five years, this is being recorded. In five years, I wish I had that thing in front of me. We set this on our goal, so we're in EOS traction. In five years, I think it was a thousand units under management owned um, or co-owned. So I'm fairly certain it was a thousand and five. And in 10, I think it was 10,000 is our current company goals. Wow. And so you're thinking very big. Is there an exit strategy you guys plan to sell? Yes, we do. We plan, we're actually structuring our company in a way in which every market that we're in has its own LLC. So that way we can sell off parts of our business. Okay. So what was one of the most appealing things to you about their program in terms of getting started? Why, why did you decide to move forward with what they were offering? Yeah. One, we had a great connection with e-commerce. I came from the e-commerce world. They came from the e-commerce world. Um, we both saw the issues with that business model where it was a race to the bottom. And I just loved what they were preaching on the, on the fact that we need to go in there and provide the best product possible. They really had their stuff together. Um, they had a few different models that hadn't been pitched yet, specifically the partnership model, um, where we can actually partner with landlords and get into those properties. So that's why I decided to go with them. Is there anybody that you could think of offhand that you don't think would be a good fit for what they're selling? Tell me the type of candidate that should probably steer clear. If you're not willing to be flexible, stay away. That <laughs> You've got to be in this, this entire industry, though. Um, you got to roll with the flow. There's going to be guest issues. There's going to be... Um, I mean, you got, you, they just, I'm fairly certain, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm fairly certain they just had a kid, but something like that, for example, from you, you just got to be flexible. They're here to help. Um, I know that they're going to do everything they can to bring value. I remember when I was first starting out, there were some Friday nights where I dropped a message and I was like, Hey, I've got this issue. What should I do? Response was there. 
um, typically within a couple hours. So it definitely paid off tenfold just having some a sounding board that I could rely on when I was getting started. I can definitely second the punctuality aspect. It's always there on my side too. Overall professionalism, has, it, has your experience been real solid on that too, Z? Yeah, I don't have any complaints. They've been phenomenal. All right, let's really put you to the test then. So what, what would you say is, you know, the one or two things that you would actually change if you could about what you invested in here? Yeah, the, the number one thing that I would like to see um, in their program is a little bit more on different models. I've learned in the STAR world, there are so many different models. Um, from a scalability standpoint, um, their partnership model, when we're taking on, um, and from a bookkeeping standpoint, when we're taking on expenses for owners, it makes it very, very difficult to scale. And I, that was one of our huge choke points. Um, that was one of the reasons that we stopped using specifically the partnership model and went more towards, hey, owner, we need you to be responsible of XYZ. We're going to be responsible of ABC. And therefore, it kept our books a lot simpler. Got it. Yeah, I think personally, I, I like that response. I, you know, I think there's so many different directions you can take this. And one yeah. of the greatest pieces of value that I, I've gotten from the BNB bootcamp with, with both Michael and Katrina is the, is the, that there's this tremendous foundation that gets poured. And I see just through mutual clients, the way that we've designed our business model using their foundation you, you know, it's, it's sort of like teaching you principles that you're mm -hmm. able to expand on and grow from. And the, the number of directions you can go with this seems almost endless. And we've certainly proven that ourselves had it not been for the, the fundamentals that we got from their program, we wouldn't be anywhere close to even exploring sort of the more advanced approach. So I like this model because I think it, it caters to absolutely any skill level. I think anybody can get involved, whether you're just wanting that extra side hustle lifestyle money, like you called it Z, or if you're really looking at creating a, a new direction for your career and a, a wealth development format for yourselves. And the team aspect is phenomenal. I mean, you've got enough people on your team. That personnel is so expensive. And yeah. the fact that you're dipping in at 80K, uh, that's because you're paying other people enough to make it worth it for them to be on your team. And uh, if you're profitable in just 19 months in a business, that right there alone is also extremely hard to do, uh, given what I, my experience in business. So usually you're still dumping money in. So if that's cash flowing you at least enough to take distributions in the amount of 80,000 and moving forward, I'm assuming that economies of scale is going to just be much, much better for you, right? Because these roles are filled and you would expect the growth rate to be a lot bigger. Did you say you're buying your second hotel now? Uh, we have our second hotel under contract currently. How many units is that? That will be a 32 unit. Amazing. So you're going to be pressing a hundred doors within the first 24 months. Yeah. The goal was 160 by the end of 22. We're not quite going to get there, but we'll be really close. Oh, wow. Okay. So you're really going to be getting after it the last couple of months. Well, congratulations on everything. Is there anything else you want to add as far as anybody that might be on the fence, whether or not they want to participate in this program? Whether it's this program or any program, if you're looking to get started in something, make the investment. If, if you don't re necessarily resonate with Michael and Katrina, get some coaching someplace, and I guarantee you they will tell you the exact same thing. Um, it's, it's better to have those shortcuts um, than it is to sit there and struggle. I tried it. I struggled for a few weeks. Had I not jumped into some place, it definitely would have been very painful. We probably would have just sold our units been done. Wow, that's okay. Well, that's a strong point. Um, awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, Z. I'm not, not going to keep you long today, but uh, very much uh, interested to see where your story ends up leading. So perhaps we can connect again a year from now and, and see just how much progress you've made. Uh, very, It's going to be a lot of fun to track. That'd be awesome. I appreciate you guys' time. Folks, if you're interested in finding out more about this, please visit uh, your email and co compose one to bnbbootcamp at vipfinancialeducation.com. Make sure you include your contact information in the description and we, Michael and Katrina will reach out. They'll help you determine whether it's a fit for you. It may or may not be at this time, but certainly this is a model that's worked really well for both Z and myself and many others that I've uh, had the privilege of, of coaching 
alongside Michael and Katrina in our program and uh, and see the successes they're having too. So this is a model for a lot of folks out there and it might just be for you too. So BNB Bootcamp at VIPfinancialeducation.com is the email address. And uh, until we see you on the next video, make it a great day and keep on cash flowing.